The Williston Basin School District is working out the details of a bond measure to fund construction of two elementary schools. Administrators say they're needed soon. Michael Anthony explains. About 250 students graduated from Williston High School this May. Meanwhile, in the fall, the elementary schools welcome more than 500 kindergartners. Growing enrollment continues to be a challenge for the Williston Basin School District, which is why the board is focusing on two new elementary schools in the upcoming bond. I'm going to work with you a little bit and we're going to Class sizes are smaller this year in elementary schools, with most in the low to mid-20s. It's all thanks to Missouri Ridge taking in more of the younger students through its new K-5 through configuration. Lewis and Clark Principal Meredith Johnson says teachers are happy to see lower numbers, but it comes at a cost. We have families that live just down the street who can't attend here because our capacity is so full. And so as in the previous years, as people have moved in, they've been placed at wherever there happens to be an opening in a class size. Superintendent Richard Fadley and the school board held another board of workshop last week, speaking with local architects and contractors about what to expect from future construction. Fadley says the district needs more buildings to maintain those low classroom sizes going forward. We cannot allow our class sizes to get to 30 and 31 at the elementary level. It's just not conducive to learning. Bailey says the district hopes to hold several public forums to present a bond to residents this winter. A vote may be set sometime early next year. Now reaching that 60% threshold necessary to pass a bond has been difficult in Williston. If a bond weren't to pass, more modulars like the one here at Lewis and Clark Elementary may be necessary in the short term to address growing enrollment. In Williston, I'm Michael Anthony reporting for your news leader.